Hey guys, it's me, it's me, the Nintendo Sony Man here, welcoming you back to some more Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, episode we finished off um, the Lavender Tower, Pokemon Tower, and we got ourselves a new item as a result. Let's see if we can find it. I think it's under key items. There it is, Poke Flute. A flute that is said to instantly awaken any Pokemon as a lovely tune. Yes, so... Today we are going to be, hopefully, maybe using that um, item sometime. And here's my team, doing pretty good, level 30s. Key level, actually, for what we will hopefully encounter in this episode, so... Yeah. Let's go. I love fishing, don't get me wrong. But it'd be best if I also had more work. I hear you. I, I hear you. <laughs> about the work? situation, yes. Elliot. Ooh, polywags. Can't you, like, open your own shop or something? Maybe that's... You can get work there, selling stuff. Okay, well, I guess... Um... Hey, Yoruichi. Yoruichi is going to be... somewhat important. Ooh, that was a good play on my part. Insomnia kicked in. But, you know, Yuri too will be important for our next gym, so I'll have to train her up a bit. Shelder. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll stay in. Uh, Shelder, water type Pokemon, evolves into Cloister, gaining the Ice type. A very defensive Pokemon. Not sure why it has to be sticking out its tongue like that, that was a little weird. Seriously, one damage. <laughs> wow. That's that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, Ice Cold Sphere is a multi-hit move. It has 15 power, so... Kinda sad it's doing a little damage like that. Goldeen. At least be gold in color if you're gonna be Goldeen. Look at, look at um, Hypno, it's technically gold. Yellowish. Okay, what's your last Pokemon? Horsey. Horsey, yes. I said Horsey, I don't know why. Doesn't matter. Concussion protocol. Oh, critical hit, jeez. Nice job. It's not easy. It's not easy to be me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking of five for fighting all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you're gonna hear a lot of weird song references with me, maybe, in this channel. I don't know. <laughs> oh, is that a double battle? Hey, Jess. If we win, I'll marry you. Whoa, okay. Um, <laughs> okay, it is a double battle. Young couple, Gia and Jess. Ah, the Nidorans. If, if she wins... They get married. Fascinating. Also, <laughs> yes. Goodbye. <laughs> Just, yeah. Okay, that's not gonna do it. But it won't affect you to you. Oh, wow, okay. It took out the male one, but we'll take out the female one. Yes, I know. Oh, wow, it took out both of them. Nice. I actually thought six wouldn't be strong enough, but I guess I was wrong. All right. Oh, but why? Because I have type advantage. Jess, you silly! You ruined this. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Gia, forgive me, my love. God, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, here he is. Purple. Interesting. I thought it was supposed to be like dark green. Sports fishing area. Okay. So this is one of two, um, actually, yes, two Snorlaxes in this game. Um, I'm not going to catch them. It's already difficult enough to catch this thing as it is. You'll level only. Well, actually, battle it, let alone fight it. Um, but yeah, so let me just make sure my team is all good. It should. Ah, won't be fine. It's going to take a while, though. But yes, with the Poke Flute, you'll. Awaken the sleeping beast. 
Yes. Why did it use staccato? Why did it go staccato? Like slightly staccato instead of just flowing. It's weird. Oh, Snorlax woke up. Nice. It attacked a grumpy rage. Oh dear. Oh boy. I I think you can actually like escape, and I'm pretty sure it will just disappear. But I will fight it because it will. Look at that. Level 30. Snorlax normal type Pokemon. Um. What gen was it? Gen 2 gained a pre-evolution in um, Munchlax. Known for having a lot of like HP and strange enough special defense. All right, let's see what a magnitude can do here. That, oh my. yes, magnitude six, Renji. That will do a lot. Yeah. Also, yeah, and also for having rest. And I don't know if it has in this game, but um, lovely. Um, I, I know in other games it has the. Uh, move snore, which you can use um, while asleep. Also, sleep talk, which can allow it to use any move in its move in its um, move pool thing. Not move pool, but any move it has while asleep. Okay, Renji, you are not gonna stay in. That was a lot of damage. Uh, we're going to Yoruichi. Yeah, Renji needs to work in his defense. Oh, no. And so, yeah, Yorichi, perfect. Yawn um, takes about a turn or two, but it causes a Pokemon to go to sleep. It's been poisoning. Yes! That will do it. That's good. Except I, I, I mean, I, I, may, I may try to catch it, but I'm not going to use it. Okay. Let's see, um, headbutt. Oh! Oh, this thing is... He's doing work to me. He's doing work to me. Alright, Ichigo. My next defensive Pokemon here. Alright, here's what I'll do. My goodness! Alright, I will try to... That's, that's actually risky. Um... No, 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 no. If it survives a water gun and poison, I'll try and catch it. It looks like it's gonna. Oh. So, yeah, let's move Snore. Alright, I'll try and catch it. I'm not gonna use it, but I'll try and catch it. It's as good as any. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. Very, very difficult to catch, Snorlax. But we take it down. Snorlax calmed down. It gave a huge yawn and returned to the mountains. How it did that, no one will ever know. Because <laughs> it cannot fly. <laughs> okay, um. Wait, I need to. Did I make a teammate? Not quite. Okay, hopefully I got some potions here. But yeah, like I said, that's the, that's the first of two um, Snorlaxes. There is another one. I don't remember where it is off the top of my head. Let me heal up my Pokemon though. Jeez. And again, we need to keep that one. Yeah, I'll use our last super potion on Ichigo. I could just go back and go to the Pokemon Center, but I think I will live. <laughs> Alright, let's go. What is this house? Good day to you, sir. I'm the fishing guru's younger brother. Oh, I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like to fish? Sir. Sure. Alright, what do you got for me? Ah, the super rod! Alright. Interestingly enough, I... Wait, you have a request. What? If you catch a big Magikarp with that rod, I want to see it. As much as I love fishing, I also love seeing gigantic Magikarp. Well, that's new. <laughs> okay. Um, but I believe... Uh, yeah, you get... There's one more rod, the good rod, but you get it last for some reason. I don't know why. 
He wants us to catch a giant or a really big Magikarp with a Super Rod. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Let's fight more people. Electricity is my speciality. Speciality, jeez. Um, I don't know a thing about Pokemon for C though. Well, I can probably see why you'd probably kill them all with the, uh, you know, electrocution and everything. Wow, rocker. Live wires? Come on, at least have rubber gloves. Seriously? Okay, he's got a Voltorb. Oh, I'm perfect. Oh. Please don't have to levitate. Okay, good. <laughs> um, oh, well, Vrenji's perfect. He's in his element. But yeah, man, you, you gotta be careful with those wires, man. It's having it above your head. Electrode. Ah, oh, yeah, of course you're faster than me, yeah. I think Electrode base, um, has base, has like the fastest base speed in Gen 1. So yeah, it's even faster than Ductrio, and Ductrio is known for being very fast. But it looks like we're speed tied. So that's good for us. And that's ground you down. Keep you grounded. Unplugged! I think that's the name of an MP MTV show. <laughs> yeah, water connects electricity. Yes, yes it does. But you don't want to be in the water when that happens. Oh look, an item. But there's a trainer battle as well. Yes, I like to cut it. He looks like a junior trainer? I don't know. I'm searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? I believe I have, but I'm not giving it to you. Oh, you're a camper, never mind. <laughs> I'm thinking too Gen 1. Alright, Nidoran. Say your prayers and not go... Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Really, Renji? Let's try it again. Fine. Six will be enough. So how you guys doing? I'm trying to speed this um, Let's Play up a bit. I'm trying to get some more done here, so... Yeah, I'm doing some more recordings today. Ooh, Nidorino. We're gonna switch out because we just leveled up. <laughs> and Yoruichi needs some more stuff, experience. I mean, she's about to level up too. Yeah, Nidorino, elusive Nidoran male. Pretty darn powerful, actually, even in the card game. Oh dear. Don't do it. Oh, thank goodness. Good. I need you to be just doing some poisoning stuff on me. Critical hit by Yoruichi. That's how you do. That's how you do. Level 31. Ah, okay. <laughs> Ow! What did I do to you? I didn't do anything. Could have made my Pokemon evolve with a Moonstone. Out of one then, I bet. Not maybe, yes. Those two Pokemon do evolve. With the Moonstone, so yeah. Got an iron. So that's why he's talking about the Moonstone. Let's see. Da, da, da. Let's go into um, Udiu. Oh no. What's catching? You never know what you could catch. You, that's true. You never know. But what did you catch, good sir, Andrew? You caught weak Magikarp. Okay. <laughs> and you didn't evolve it. <laughs> Why is it at level 24? It evolves at level 20. <laughs> yes, Magikarp is so weak, like, even like a high level Magikarp does not net you a lot of experience. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, its stat gains are, are like, horrendous. If you don't evolve it, it's bad. <laughs> Lost it. I mean, unless you're doing competitive battling, that's a whole different something. 
uh, some grass there. I don't think I need any items, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. Route 13. But fight me. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking. Cool. You can tell me which cave I could go there and get some Alma. No? Okay. I, I see what I see. Ooh, level 28. Yeah, let's fight. Alright, so you guys are getting a little bit stronger, getting on my level. Relatively. Ah. Come on, dude, you. You're a bat. There we go. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Oh, I don't like to see those numbers, though. <laughs> uh, poly wag, okay. Gotcha. Let's fight through it again. No, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that regarding Poliwag. Because it's not... Uh, Poliwag, not that strong. Water-type Pokemon evolves to Poly Whirl and Poly Raph. Yeah. Horsey. This one I might be a little bit more worried about. <laughs> But yeah, Rain Dance. Uh, last five turns. Oh, dear. It seems like every time I do a Let's Play of these, you got a Pokemon that wants to have battles take forever. Smokescreen, double team, all evasive minions. See, there we go. This, this horsey is not that strong and I'm struggling because of one smoke screen. There we go. Nice. Oh, too bad. I just messed up. What was your plan? <laughs> Blind me? Let's see. Now I'm going to go for a couple more trainers here. <clears throat> My bird Pokemon went to battle with you. can understand your bird Pokemon. Okay. Sebastian, what you got? Pidgey. Pidgey. Get away from me, Pidgey. <laughs> I'm not using you. I have my own bird Pokemon. It's a bat. And it's a vampire. Well, at least you have the evolution, Pidgeotto. <laughs> I would have been just like... <laughs> blown away. If you had two Pidgeys. I think they describe Pidgeotto in the card game as like a... Someone akin to a rooster. <laughs> I mean, you look at it, I mean, it kind of reminds you a little bit of it. But yeah, Udyu level 31. Ah, special attack up. That's interesting. My Pidgey and Pidgeotto combo lost? Yes. That's not a very good combo. Oh dear. I think I've got time for like one more. I told, I'm told I'm good for a kid. Okay, I mean, I'm told that I'm like legendary for a kid. Oh boy, never mind. Susan. Oh. Well, guess we're going over 20 minutes. I was not, I was hoping that wouldn't happen. But, yeah, it is. I'm going to actually end it off after this, because we're going to be, um... The next part of this is going to be very long, and I this is going to take too long. Um, let's see. I need to learn be better water moves than this. Thank you, Pidgey. Thank you for that. But yeah, the next part of this very long route is gonna- oh, you have a Pikachu. Well, luckily I've prepared for that. Yeah, the next part of this very long route is just- it's like a mini maze, and I don't want to have to try to do that right now because, like I said, we're heading up to like 20 minutes, and yeah. <laughs> no. 
that's not a good idea. So I'll take care of this trainer here. Suzy Q. Meowth. Alright, we'll go into Ichigo. Maybe Meowth can give me some money. I'm in need of it. Are you faster? Ah! Thanks. Thanks for the flinch. Take a bite out of crime. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm like, if you flinch me again, if you flinch me again, you know what's gonna happen to you. You got a rat attack? Take a bite out of rat attack as well. There you go. They like that. I made you flinch. And, oh, Meowth. At least use Payday to give me some cash. I think I deserve it. Oh my goodness gracious, me It's level 24, how is it faster than me? <laughs> oh, there we go, thank you. Yeah, give me some money. A little extra, a little extra, um, cash. Nice. Oh, I lost! And... Oh, I guess this combines it. Okay. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna end off here. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, we'll continue on to the next area called the Silence Bridge. So we gotta be very quiet, yes. It's been me, the Nintendo Sony Man, signing off, and I'll see you guys on route to Silence Bridge. See you later! <laughs>